everybody, and welcome back to Northern Lion Plays the Binding of Isaac. We ran when we got Isaac. That's good. We had a great Isaac run last time. I had a run I really enjoyed. It was a lot of fun. I if, Did you enjoy it? I enjoyed it. We gambled hard on becoming Guppy very early on. Ended up becoming Guppy by, like, the midpoint of the game, I would say, roughly. God, that's such a shitty option. Let's see if we want to reroll what's in our curse room more than that, though, before we figure this out. Is that two of the same pill? No, it's two different ones. First one is health down. Second one is speed down. Alright, this run is starting uh, wonderfully so far. I think I will actually, uh, believe it or not, leave through this this uh, trap door. And the reason is that we can get more than enough health when we come out this way. Uh, really bad start. Anyway, I would go back and watch the last run because this one looks like it's going to turn out to be pretty shitty based on how it's gone so far. Maybe we'll be able to recover though. Two of clubs will double our bombs, which means technically... As of right now, we have three bombs effectively instead of two if we really want to use bombs, but I'd rather save it and use it a little bit later. Uh, the speed down, in a weird way, is almost a little bit worse than the health down, uh, because it's going to make it very difficult for us to, to kind of dodge, but, well, let's see what we got here. Maybe something good? No, just a box full of spiders. What is it? Christmas at the Laterno house back in second grade? I didn't want spiders, Mom. I wanted Pokemon Red. Uh, Pokemon Red wasn't out when I was in second grade, but it might have been when you were in second grade. And you might have been, why do I wa been all like, why would I want this old piece of shit game? Give me Call of Duty World of War or something. I don't know how old you are, but it's okay. That's fine. Um, we're going to fight the Widow here. It's actually kind of a, a, a harrowing fight here because the spiders are uh, making it a little difficult for me to have freedom of movement. And the Widow does have these fast jumps, which are tedious to work around. Yeah, there we go. I knew at some point I would end up effing it up, but that's okay. As long as I don't get hit again, life's good. Please don't create any more nubs, you big old dingle hole. You can create as much creep underneath you as you want to. There we go. Feeling like a creep on a leash, if I have to be honest. And uh, if we just move a little bit further, we'll be able to get back to full health, hopefully pick up an HP and forget this floor ever happened. It's a range upgrade. That is, This has been, I'm calling it, worst floor in Isaac history. Wiggle worm, box full of spiders, Secret room did exist, at least. Um, tarot cards. We may end up actually leaving here with nothing, which is is wonderful. And we don't even have another reroll. That's fantastic. A spirit heart instead of a key, so we can't get anything from our shop. Well, we're not going to be leaving with nothing. That's not totally accurate. We're going to be leaving with minus one health, minus one speed, and a range upgrade. That is um, that's a real coup for us after some hardship earlier. Okay. Let's move on, then. Uh... Definitely don't want the tarot cards. It's not the foundation you want to start on when you play as Isaac, but maybe we'll be able to get a uh, maybe a deal with the devil on the next floor that we can take if we get an HP upgrade. The other piss off is we have no keys, so not only are we behind the eight ball. I actually am going to use a bomb here. Not only are we behind the eight ball, but we may end up kind of permanently behind the eight ball. Now our speed is going to be a real issue because yes, I am going to pick up the small rock. Of course, I'm going to pick up the small rock. Thank God we got a key there. Um, but that's going to slow us down a little bit. It's also going to make our shots a little bit more powerful. We're, we're quite sluggish already, but speed upgrades are usually pretty easy to come by. So I'm hoping that we'll be able to maybe swing this around in our favor before too, too long. Our history of getting spacebar items in, this, in the item room continues. But at the very least, we may have a chance to reroll that one or two more times before the end of the floor. And uh, eventually, they'll run out of spacebar items to give me. That's what I tell myself. There's like 70 of them, but... You never know. Well, I, I know, but I don't want to say. So we're going to have to take like two laps around here to get enough speed necessary to uh, not get hit by that guy when he explodes, but we did manage to make it happen. I'm pretty impressed with myself for that. Uh, most of the time that wouldn't have worked. If I can manage... Oh, yeah, that's going to hurt. If I can manage to get some more H... Or if I manage to get some more money, sorry, I should be able to make a go at this uh, shop on this floor. And there's a blood bank, so I imagine I will be able to make some more money. But the first things first, we're going to fight whoever our boss is here. It's going to be Pin. I'm definitely not using a bomb to fight him. And, you know, in a weird way, I'm almost happier that we got a uh, an HP downgrade pill as opposed to a tears downgrade pill. Because I actually think a tears down early on is way, way uh, more debilitating. As Isaac, at least. As other characters, maybe less so. Or maybe HP would be way more important. Like as uh, Kane, for example, if you got an HP downgrade, that would be hard to recover from, I think. But uh, as Isaac, it's actually it's actually pretty okay. As much as I want an HP upgrade, I actually am going to take the crate. Please don't do that to me. Oh my god, that's such fucking bullshit. <laughs> got two of clubs. We got another uh, another health down pill, which is comical. I guess we will take Child's Heart. 
Uh, and there's there's our shop, uh, a little shoppy over there. We're gonna open it up, and the reason we're doing that is so, you know, at this point, I almost feel like maybe we should just fucking go for Blue Candle, right? We're not gonna be, we can't get anything else, apparently, like, we can't, <laughs> everything in the game is shitting on us so far, so we're gonna play this until we get to 15 cents. Please tell me we can. We will be able to, even if, ah, we're gonna have one cent extra. What was I even concerned about? Uh, so I think we will buy Blue Candle, but first we're gonna reroll. Whatever we got going on in our item room, I remember it being shitty. Maybe blood rites. Blood rites seems to ring a bell right now. And how awesome would it be if we got PhD and turned that health downgrade into a health upgrade and try to swing it around a little bit? Let's see. Uh, well, we get the bomb bag. It's actually a useful item. Not the most useful item, but with this second two of clubs that we've gotten, uh, which is probably, to be honestly, the second best thing that's happened to us in this run. Uh, we can maybe turn this into a lot of bombs and then kill people that way. Now, there is a boss trap room here, too. We're not gonna be able to get another reroll, so I hope you like what's inside. It's not like we weren't gonna reroll blood rites anyway, so I'm not gonna feel too bad about it. Inside of here, we find a coat hanger, which honestly, pretty good. I'll, I'll live with it. Increased rate of fire. Our damage is solid as a result of getting, uh, the small rock. We suffer in a lot of other areas, but our individual tiers and uh, and also the frequency with which we can shoot them is actually pretty good. Now, just wait a second here. Larry Jr. will be out in just a split second. That was really good timing on the transition there. Might be able to get the second Larry Jr. dead before we end up in the real shit. Nah, not really, but not even close, honestly, but whatever. What's done is done. We're still cool down here as long as we just kind of take out that Larry Jr. and then just, you know, dance with the devil in the pale moonlight right down to the bottom here. And it's gonna be good to go. I know some people are gonna be mad that I'm buying Blue Candle. Uh, I don't. I actually don't think Blue Candle's overpowered, but it's it's situational. I think Blue Candle's overpowered if you don't have the D6, because then you're you're changing something that's probably not so good. I.e., uh, I don't even know if I want. I will look for the secret room, but I don't know if I want to use the Two of Clubs yet if we don't find it on the first try. Well, luckily it doesn't matter because we did. And we get a lot of money in there, which is actually quite nice. But, uh, yeah, let's put it this way. If you have, like, um, what's a bad space bar item? If you have Lemon Mishap and Blue Candle comes up, yeah, that's a really good pickup. The D6 to Blue Candle is not an objectively good or objectively bad, necessarily, transition. It's a scary one, though. And you know what? Uh, we'll pick this up as well. Don't really want to pick up the bomb, even though it would effectively be like buying two bombs. I'd rather just keep our money for now. We should get enough by way of the bomb bag anyway. Before we leave, uh, I should go play this blood bank a little bit more. Just a little bit more. I don't want to get too crazy here, but yeah, we're going to get rid of the D6. I'm sorry about that, but uh, the game is, is handing me lemons, and I'm going to do my best to, to shove the lemons somewhere where lemons don't really belong, and then shoot them back out with such force that they're like a... A piece of ordinance that could lodge themselves in the game's own buttocks, perhaps? So we got the IV bag, which is just another, you know, piss on the Barbie, basically. That expression may or may not make any sense. Uh, but yes, it's 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 bad, let's put it that way. Um, but at least we now know that all blood banks will pay out if we, uh, or pay out usefully for us if we uh, can get them to, which we won't be able to because we, uh, unfortunately, don't have very much HP to begin with. And we're on the catacombs, so... After uh, what was a pretty nice run last time, even though things... Like, we were not gifted the run last time. I worked my ass off for it. But... And I, I took some uh, huge risks, too. But, um, after a glorious run last time, the game's like, Alright, don't give that fucker any advantages anymore. Much appreciated, game. We have a symbiotic relationship, game. You make me look good, and I make you look good. You're making me look like shit, and you still look like, I don't know, Fran Drescher... Tran Fran Drescher's voice became a person through some kind of weird transmorgification machine. You look like Fran Drescher's voice. What is wrong with me? All right, so yes, I probably will end up going to the shop. First things first, though, we will go to the item room because, you know, we don't have the money necessarily uh, that we would need to go to the shop. We probably will. Infestation is fine, and I'm saying that because I don't have the D6. Uh, we'll... I eh, should pick up that health. I didn't even know it was there until I'd already left the room. That was weird. And I think the way you want to do this is maybe knock these neutral flies out and then do like a hoop. Yeah, that yeah, did a pretty good job. I know there's health back there, don't get me wrong. Just figured maybe uh, get more bang for our buck this way. And again, uh, I know I could use the uh, two of clubs here, but I think it's 
people kind of take two of clubs for granted. They're like, oh, if you're going to use a bomb, might as well use two of clubs. I think if we should just wait a little longer. And then uh, we can get even more bombs, even though we did use a bomb there. So that's, this is, it could be anything. Pretty fly. That's actually quite nice. We're going to lose one health going in here, but we could get something. Okay. Thank God we didn't get hit by that spider on the way out, or we would be dead forever. Long story short, basically, I think we'll be able to turn this, like, four bombs that we have by way of two of clubs into like 40 bombs if we just wait a little bit longer. No no, no rush on the whole bomb situation. Now, speaking of bomb situation, this boss room could be the end of me. That was a big and bad miss there. This boss isn't usually that difficult, but you need that, that mythical perfect chain reaction in a situation where you can't really take any damage. And you know what? We kind of got it, to be honest with you. That was a good fight. I'm proud of myself. Doesn't always happen, so I like to talk about it. It's not like it was, uh, you know, the hardest boss fight we've ever had, but, you know, got it done. 3 HP. Now we're back to where we should be as Isaac. Um, yeah, we still want to go to the shop. Even if we fight Greed, it might be nice to just snag an item, you know. Definitely still want the compass. Uh, we could look for the secret room. At that point, if it's going to take us three or four bombs... Oh, if it's going to take us three or four bombs, we might want to use... Uh, uh, two of clubs for that one. Could just look inside and decide if we actually need to look for the secret room. We don't, I mean, we should all wheeze. <laughs> so what a weird emphasis. We should always look for the secret room. Because it could have raw liver, one up, onk, fetus items, etc, etc. Whether or not I take all of those would be a different story. But, uh, even if it doesn't, it could have money. It could have a fortune teller. You never know, right? Well, I mean, we know, obviously, but we don't know which of them it has. And we get for two for one bomb we can get two cents here. For one bomb we can get one key. Is it worth two of clubsing right now? We'll see. Cause I really I would much rather use two of clubs like three floors later and get to 30 bombs and never have to worry about it again. But I like my brain is like, you should really use two of clubs before you use any bombs, otherwise you're just wasting it. Uh but I think we'll use two bombs here. One to get this key and check for the secret room. And uh, one to pick up that money. Hopefully one to pick up that money. We did find the secret room. Secret room contains this. We're not going to touch it. Uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll try to sneak one bomb in here. That, that's not going to work. Maybe if I put it... Okay, so we'll use two bombs. Man, people are going to be really frustrated with that one, but whatever. It's all fine. We'll uh, check out our secret or item room, uh, shop, whatever, man. It's all the same thing. And we get a compass, and that's pretty much all I could really ask for in there. Yes, we will use almost all of our bombs here with bomb bag. We're fine for bombs. Why? Why risk it? Why? Why take five free bombs when we could get twenty? Well, because five free bombs is better than zero free bombs. Yeah, but we don't need bombs. So if we, it's like you know, if you're not super wealthy but well off, and someone's like, hey, you know, I'll give you two dollars to be bothered, you'd be like. Nah, I don't really need the money. And they're like, well, what if it was two million dollars? Well, then, yeah, then it changes, okay? We're in a position where I don't I don't need to worry that much about bombs. So, uh, the only thing that could really make me concerned about it is if there was a large number of them that we could get. Then I would go through the hassle. So, that's basically what I'm getting at here. I hope that that came across. I think it's actually a surprisingly good analogy. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it. Having no speed here is going to be a real freaking issue, but we did find the secret room, and that is uh, always nice when that happens accidentally. So there we go. Getting some more bombs again. It was a second secret room. Unfortunately, there is no arcade on this floor, so we can't really... Oh, man. The pills have been so bad so far. We don't know what it is. Friends till the end. It's fine. Um, we can't re-roll it, which is really... You know, I'm a little salty about it, but I made my bed, and now it's time to lie in it, I suppose. This would be an amazing floor if we actually did have an arcade, because uh, that second secret room is perfect. There's also a boss trap room. I am going to just fuck my spirit heart. Whatever. We'll lose it and get more spirit hearts. I really can't believe that we haven't had a chance to get a speed upgrade. But at least we have more HP. And you might be saying, hey, Ryan, like it seems like the run's going pretty well. Nope. You're out of your goddamn mind. Uh, this is not going well at all. We're in a, we're in a fantastic position to survive the mid-game. Uh, that, that's where we're at. Once things start to get difficult, we're gonna get ground down. Unlimited keys means we will go in here and hopefully fight greed at this point so we can actually make something happen in this room. Uh, but yeah, th this is not a run with good long-term prospects. And that's fine, you know? We can still make something happen. There's still rooms to go. It's 
Steam sale is effective when you don't have any other options and uh, you don't have the money to pick up anything at the future shops, so that's okay. And uh, I'm just checking out these rooms just in case maybe we find something that would... Uh, yeah, I'm, I can't believe I didn't get hit there. Or there, or there. Now you should be dead. You Okay, we didn't get hit by the fire either. That surprises me a great deal. Uh, yeah, just in case maybe we find a temperance card or who knows, a golden chest or something. We basically just on the virtues of Blue Candle alone, we're stronger than the enemies that we're going to be facing. So it makes sense to go through all these rooms, in my opinion. And uh, we're, we're very unlikely to lose enough health to put ourselves in, in serious danger here. We could still get, like, one deal with the devil would still be enough to put us over the top. And if I take enough damage on this floor, maybe I can go to the boss trap room. But I really don't want to, like, walk myself on a bunch of fires to do it. Just seems a little too risky. Although getting one HP up, it might be the only option for us. We'll see. Oh, good. Three more cents in our, uh, in our secret room. Luckily, we didn't have to spend a bomb to get in there. Even though we don't have to worry about bombs, you might be saying, doesn't that conflict with your earlier analogy? Nah, man. Even rich people still like to save money. Put another bomb down right here. One of these days, we're gonna we're gonna get some serious serious payout with two of clubs, but it's not gonna be anytime soon. Grab a snack, is my advice. So far, so good right here. No worries at all. More keys are good keys. And... Mm, spiders are an issue. They jump, we're slow. That's the problem. As we saw against the Widow earlier, we gotta be a little bit more cautious about stuff like that. We're slow, so we shouldn't take damage walking on those spikes, or walking around those spikes, I should say. We would take damage walking on them, because, uh, duh. And of course, we're gonna end up fighting the pony and getting an item that we can't use, nor reroll. Really making me look like a damn idiot for taking, uh, for taking Blue Candle over the D6. That being said, uh, without Blue Candle, would we be able to do very much damage to the pony? Would we be able to have a chance to get a deal with the devil on this floor? I don't know. I mean, mathematically, yes, but realistically, probably not. It's a weird situation. Blue Candle's carrying the load right now. And of course, we get no deal with the devil either, because that'd be far too easy. So, I mean, shit. I guess we just go down to the next floor. That was probably the best, uh... Probably the best floor we've had with respect to not getting anything good at all. We got like two spirit hearts and a, I, I can't even remember. Maybe a pretty fly, but I don't think so. Uh, stay down, thank you. Okay, um, being slow against these guys is a curse, but it's not a death sentence as long as you can hit them with blue candle, basically. If you don't have blue candle, sorry about that. If you're playing along at home, which is a silly idea, because my lord, how do you keep our items in sync? I guess you could actually do that with uh, spider mod, but Whatever. We're gonna fight Loki. At least it isn't Little Chad. I looked at it for a second, saw it was Little Chad, and thought about just turning X Split off and, you know, having a nice long bath or something, cracking a beer in the shower. Please give me a deal with the devil. Like, I. I. <laughs> I earned that one. I earned that deal with the devil, man. I went through that. I went through some shit to get there. And I haven't gotten anything. I've, I have one more HP than you normally start with as Isaac. This, that's what this run is right now. Isaac plus one. Get TLC to get the rights. A little, it especially works because I'm a little slower too. Um, I, I do want that chest, but maybe we'll actually end up using two of clubs on this floor. We do have some bombs now. So if I can actually use those a little bit later, it'll be better maybe, I guess. But we'll come back, try not to forget about that chest. Here we go. So yeah, we'll be able to get to like 30 bombs on this floor probably. Did I even go? I went to the curse room on the last floor. I did. I'm not going to be mad at myself or something that I... For, for actually doing my due diligence. Good. Unicorn horn. You thought I was being sarcastic, probably, but saves me half a spirit heart, at least. Uh, and then we'll never talk about it again, but there we go. Good curse room, too. Game's really on my side here. I think that's what I like about it, is that um, the game's really doing a good job of, uh, of making me feel like it wants me to win with the items that have shown up so far. And that's good, uh, because, you know, it's nice to have a friend for once. And we will check out our shop, of course. We're still not going to use this bomb, necessarily. Uh, you might be saying, you only have seven cents. Why would you check out the shop? Well, be big ding-dong. Head back like seven minutes. I picked up the Steam sale in a, a nail-biting fight with greed. It wasn't really nail-biting at all, but it was a fight with greed. And two out of three ain't bad when it comes to the truth. We have a self-sacrifice room. Uh, and here, one bomb to get three bombs. Seems like a smart idea, huh? Just wait for Blue Candle to come back. I apologize if the commentary is getting a little bit... Weird? No. Um, 
No, like, sincerely, I don't apologize for that. It's friends till the end. Um, but this is the kind of position that the game has put me in, I think, where, at this point, I don't really have much of a chance of winning, I would say. It could theoretically happen, but I think it's probably pretty unlikely. We just get the ladder and... St I mean, fuck it, why not, right? Um, yeah, we don't really have much of a chance to succeed, so we might as well have some fun with it. And I am having some fun with it. It's basically, at this point, let's just see how long we can go. Uh, or maybe we get to 45 bombs, or... I guess, like, 40, or it would have to be 50 bombs. We double it, and then, um, we effectively have pyro, and then we just only use bombs for the rest of the game. We use our, the greatest ladder positioning of all time, and, uh, and bombs, and, and we win, because we never take any damage, because this is a fantasy world that can never exist in real life. Now, be alright, be alright, there we go. Just will it into existence. It's the secret. Make your, uh, your ambition board rather than taking concrete steps towards goals that you would like to realize in your future in the very limited amount of time that we have on this uh, pale blue dot. We will pick up more bombs and, you know, at this point we could double them for 34. That's pretty good, but it's not like the game is dropping any other tarot cards that are useful, so might as well hold on to this one for a little longer. I know that Two of Clubs is not a tarot card. You want to play Texas Hold'em? I mean, he pulls out his big box of tarot cards. Nobody wants to be that guy. Let's move on to what I'm gonna assume, let's be honest, is the Necropolis Part 2, and, uh, boss probably gonna drop the Magic 8-Ball. No chance for a deal with the Devil. So far, so good. There is a secret room here with greed inside of it. And I'm gonna fight him, because more money. We can use that money to go to the shop on this floor and possibly buy a compass, and, uh, stop myself from doing something I regret a little bit later on. That's, I did should clarify that that's a joke, and it's not a cool joke. It's not, it's not a cool joke about things like that. But if you laughed, then I feel cool about it, and that's not okay. So really, it's not on me for telling an offensive joke, it's on you for maybe laughing. If you laugh, shame on you. Public Twitter feuds will soon commence. Witch hunts, based on your laughter. Um, we are, we have to. Now, here's the interesting question, is Guppy's head better than Blue Candle? Uh, give you two words there, fuck no. But at the very least, gives us one third of a chance to become Guppy, which is just enough hope to feel like we have a shot at it without actually concretely making us better, which is really a, the, the kind of limbo that the game has kept us in for quite a long time. I appreciate it because, you know, if I can't win, at least I can have hope uh, as we as we prepare for death. A, a death that were, is inescapable and, and will eventually uh, swallow us whole and end this run completely. I took Counterfeit Penny instead of Child's Heart. I mean, at this point... It, like, neither of those trinkets are actually gonna have a discernible effect, but at least Counterfeit Penny, like, if we find the secret- Oh, we've already been in the secret room, it had greed in it. Uh, if we find money on the ground, it can give us a little bit more money. Whereas, Child's Heart, I mean, we haven't used any red hearts in, like, five floors, so... Five floors, three, two, ones. Uh... I mean, I, I guess? <laughs> we, we buy the 9-volt not because it makes the blue candle any better. We buy it because it's, uh... Might make what other space bar items we find in the game better, I guess. If we ever get rid of Blue Candle, which is almost unfathomable at this point because it's doing like 99% of our total damage. Oh, I got like an itch on my back. I, an itch so bad I can't walk with it because I gotta use my other hand. Oh, that's the good stuff right there. Alright. Too slow to get hit. <laughs> that's good logic right there. You can't hit what you can totally see. Um, just come through here and we'll... Press the space bar some more and fire shots in the general direction of the enemies. I mean, weirdly enough, it's it's like a weird Stockholm syndrome where I'm starting to be like, you know what? Troll Engine's actually done some good things to me here. Like, yeah, he kidnapped me and, uh, you know, has tied me up in his, his cellar, but he's given me a lot of spirit hearts and also I like have a lot of time to think. He's starting to make sense. Now that I haven't had any uh, contact with the outside environment in like five days, he's really starting to make a lot of sense. He's like the most sensible person I've talked to all week. Now. That was offensive, that was another bad joke. I don't mean to suggest that all kidnappers are male. That was an implied pronoun, and uh, I, don't, I don't want to offend anybody out there. Now, and if there will be a staggering amount of people who don't realize that that second joke was a joke. It's all just jokes all the way down, man. Don't worry about it. Starting to realize maybe Child's Heart was the, the proper choice. Here comes, oh, that was, oh, okay. It's all good here, just be, can I make it through there? Yes, okay. Now, we have one item room left that can that can save us. One item room that can turn this uh, the good ship Northern Line around here. And you only get one shot at it. Seriously, like, fucking 
spiders, man. There we go. Just open up a seam. Walk down this way. Fuck the money. Who cares? Get the bombs instead. You can now have 40 bombs. That'd be pretty good. That might actually... Uh, now, why would, I, why would I even concern myself with what happens to those two pennies? You know what it is? It's, it's like a little bit of perfectionism creeping in. Internet's having that effect on me. And I'm like, now I'm like... Okay, friends till the end is good for this fight, but now I'm like, uh, well, there's a chance for me to get like 11 cents out of those, or th for me to get three cents out of those two cents as a result of, uh, as a result of having blue candle and, or as a res sorry, I should say as a result of having counterfeit penny. If I'm gonna, you know, do that total strongman argument, I might as well at least, uh, you know, stick with something that works. I don't know what I'm doing here with this portable slot, to be honest with you, but we're we're sort of making money as a result of counterfeit penny. But we're all just really losing money slower, if you want to be technical. We got another pretty fly out of it, so that's amazing, and... I, I, oh, it's okay. Um, I've been working towards that bomb upgrade for a long time, but now I know at least that I can open like every golden chest, and we can still double our bombs if we have to, so... Or if we get the opportunity to, I should say. I'm gonna end up not using this fucking... Uh, this fucking two of clubs, aren't I? I'm gonna end up with too good to use syndrome on like one of the most middling items in the game. I shot at the wrong side there. Definitely should have taken that opportunity to crowd control instead of what I actually did, which was disappoint myself and bring great shame to my uh, bloodline. So that was also a really bad blue candle shot there. Uh, don't get killed, please. Don't get killed. I, I'm gonna get killed. I almost got killed, but we did get meat, which is a good item. And is that worth it? Fuck no, we're, we're done, man. This run's over. We have like a, like one-tenth of the amount of positive things happening on this run that was as we did on the last run. I mean, look at, I can't even, I, I could have used blue candle on these guys. It's, it's just kind of a tricky shot, we're dead. I tried, but man, the game uh, was not fond of me there. But anyway, if you enjoyed the run in spite of my ineptitude and the troll engine's vitriol, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Click the like button if you enjoyed the episode and subscribe if you want to see more in the future. I will. See you tomorrow.